It turns out that inflammation is one of the hottest topics in modern biomedical research. Um, bi biomedical researchers around the world have correlated chronic inflammation with virtually all of the chronic diseases, all of them. There have been hundreds of thousands of scientific papers. And these are very careful studies that have been reported in peer-reviewed journals. They meet the highest standards for publication. These involve teams of researchers working for a number of years. This is expensive, time-consuming research, which has correlated every disease from A to Z with inflammation, specifically with chronic inflammation. There are pockets of inf inflammation that are formed around the site of an injury when the healthy tissue is damaged, when the free radicals that are secreted by the white blood cells to take care of an injured area when they damage the surrounding tissue, the surrounding tissue forms a sort of a barricade. The body walls off the area, and these walled off areas can persist for a long time. And they can gradually, over a period of, of years, decades even, they can form uh, toxic substances that gradually leak into the system and cause problems with organs a distance away, and we call these diseases, chronic diseases. It's beginning to look like there aren't any chronic diseases. There's just inflammation. And it's many different manifestations, which we call Alzheimer's or diabetes or any of actually about nearly 4,000 different conditions that have names. This is why uh, medical students get migraine headaches. They have to memorize the names of all these thousands of diseases and know what drug to prescribe for them. And that, that's, they drink a lot of beer and they get headaches. And really it's looking like there's one thing we need to, to solve, and that's inflammation. And this has been uh, manifested in the importance of a clinical blood test called CRP, C-reactive protein. When you go to your doctor and he orders a blood test, he will order a test of your low-level CRP levels, and they will measure that. And that indicates the existence of inflammation somewhere in your system. And it's that low level of inflammation that is likely to give rise eventually to chronic diseases of all kinds, including cancer, all of the diseases of aging, and the aging process itself. So if you have your reservoirs full of electrons, it will slow the, the aging process. And I can explain how that happens.